hi everybody uh welcome everybody to my react native uh, uh, tutorial series uh i also have a series of Re react native in my youtube channel uh, but uh, here i will upload for the version and uh, this is the latest version at this time and uh, this is very useful because in this uh, series i will uh, concentrate and more detail about react native with uh, both android and ios development and uh, in this series i will uh, have show you i will show you from beginner to advanced and then uh, give you more example and more detail uh, more understandable about the react native and uh, uh, this i think it is very useful for everyone uh, so firstly you uh, need to install the um, use node package manager to install uh, the create uh, react native app uh, for globally and global means that you can access the create react native app anywhere in your terminal and uh, after running uh, pressing enter and you have the uh, create react native app as install uh, has been installed in your uh, system and then you can clone this to uh, create a project it is a project name a tutorial project and uh, press enter it's then you see that it uh, is installed then you can use uh, yarn to start and to run in ios and android uh, so uh, the simplest way is to use the yarn start to uh, to uh, start in uh, uh, here to show the QR and you can use your device to uh, to to uh, work and uh, here is my project that has been created you can change directory to this uh, so you list all the file inside this and the node model contain on your package uh, written in Node.js in here and uh, uh, the package name contained in this package position we have the package for development uh, means that it is only available in your development stage and this is a dependency for production uh, the dependency for production, uh, production you use when you want to release to your customer and uh, it is also when you are uh, you are in the development uh, stage uh, and it is a script uh, these are some of script to run to start to run in android and ios to st and to start the development server and the yarn yarn is also uh, the same as npm node package manager but uh, it has some uh, more advanced and useful than npm so you can use uh, and yarn start to start the uh, uh, development server then you see uh, the output has uh, a qr uh, the qr scanner so you can use your phone this is my iphone and uh, your my real iphone my actual iphone so you can uh, bring the iphone search in the app store and uh, uh, search for expo install the expo app and uh, then uh, install the expo app uh, here i have just installed before and then open and press uh, scan qr code and uh, then uh, move your phone uh, into my screen okay then uh, it will automatically build and then this is the output uh, the hello world app the getting start application then uh, you use item and nucleate to uh, open with uh, this project so uh, you have to install nucleate by open preference uh, at instant and then search for uh, nucleate and solve package with nucleate name and after searching for nucleat you see that it is my nucleat package and you have to install this and uh, optional the nucleat format js to format the javascript type for nucleat and you open 
the project did is my project open the project here and this is a, a structure of uh, the photo and you can open the package suggestion to add or more add or remove packages uh, here you can open the main file or the app.js to see the output and uh, this is the output uh, some of the component be, uh, here but uh, do not worry I will uh, out I will uh, much detail about in uh, more uh, videos and here you change head to hello world and open uh, your iPhone you see that it will be changed automatically and it is co convenient when you want to debug your program yes and uh, you can control C press control C to stop the process uh, clear and uh, also run in iOS simulator by using Yan iOS and this is my uh, simulator the default is iPhone 6 and iOS 9 and you can also uh, make change in your application by uh, changing a little bit in your code and see the output and see the output uh, so uh, uh, now you stop and uh, see it is a watchman the watchman will allow you to automatically refresh code in your program and in the next lesson i will continue to show you uh, some other way to run your program or create a new project in react native thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye bye